Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Brad Lone Wolf, and today I'm going to be talking uh, about some more equipment. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a review and a little bit of an overview of equipment. Now, when people go on expeditions, um, some people like to take their phones with them or other devices, action cams, phones, things like that. Um, and obviously there is then the um, there's then the, the issue of keeping these devices charged. Um, there are plenty of options out there. Um, I've got uh, I've got a few here. Some of them are incomplete, um, just because uh, just because I've, I've used the unit itself, it's worn out. But the modern equivalent is still on the market. Um, and I've got four options here. You did just get, see me get the fourth one out um, just because I forgot to get it out before I started filming. Um, I'll go through a couple of the um, a couple of the more easy ones uh, to use, and a couple of more uh, complicated and difficult ones. And they're not they're not complicated to use. They've just got more things to them. Um, now I'll start off with. The we'll start off with the most simple one, and that is in this bag here. Now I keep these, I keep things in these bags partly for water resistance sake, not waterproof, but water resistance sake, and partly for well, mostly for organisational sake. Um, this unit that I've got here, this is uh, from um, the the from the Power Monkey um, team. I don't know if they're still called the Power Monkey team. It might be called something else now. Uh, but this is the Power Traveller. Now this is their most basic, most um, simple unit. This has been updated in, uh, in the years since I've bought this and I will explain how in a second. Um, this is more or less your bog standard um, a battery pack emergency battery pack uh will be charged will charge up phones um but that's about it uh or it will actually charge up action cams as well i do tell a light does charge up electric uh, action cams provided you've obviously got the compatible uh the compatible cable um with this it's nice simple like i say it's nice and simple um there's only one uh one connection and that is right there. Um, this is what has changed in the last few years. Uh, when I bought this, it was that type of connector, uh, just a round pin connector, kind of, kind of like the old style Nokia's um, that you might remember, Nokia phones, um, and it plugs straight in. Um, what they've changed it to now, or the last time I saw one of these. Uh, is they've changed it to a USB 3 which um, you know that makes it a little bit more compatible really um, across the across the board obviously I'm aware that Apple phones use a different connector um, but don't be surprised if the modern 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 version of these the, the ultra up-to-date version of these uh, takes an adapter for that so what you get on this is a single button that's it. Push the button once, it'll tell you how full, how much charge the unit itself has got. As you can see, I've got full charge on there. If you have plug it into your phone, and um, sorry, the other the other end has got the USB, um, the USB plug standard USB into one end. If you plug it into your phone, and I'm going to be using my old phone for the for this, I'll remove the charger cable out of the way there. Okay, so that's my old phone. I've got everything on on my old phone just to drain the battery as quickly as possible. Push the button, hold it down. You'll see the, the light flash and go across, across the, the lights there. 
that green flash will tell you that it's now charging your phone. Okay, and as if to prove it, uh, there you go. I don't know if you can see that, uh, but it's actually, it has started charging. But I'm not going to leave it there, of course. Um, you can charge more modern phones um, off of it, like I say. Um, providing you've got the compatible cable. It has got an auto switch off feature, so I've just taken the cable out of the phone. And completely remove that. And it will, after a few minutes of realising it's not charging anything, it will switch itself off. Probably won't do it in time on here, but you get the idea to switch it off manually. Same button, hold it down, and let's switch itself off. Great little gadget for uh, for travelers. Um, bearing in mind that it is, um, I can only use to get about two charges out of it. It's not designed for a long-term project. Um, but an emergency battery pack, it's, it's Fantastic! It's obviously compatible across um, uh, across all sorts of devices, provided you've got the correct cable and provided it's got a USB standard USB connection at least in one end. You can see how small it is; fits in the pocket quite nicely. The only thing I don't like about this, like I say, is it hasn't got a lot of capacity. It's only ever charged this phone twice, uh, which for some people is enough. Um, the and like I say, it has been updated um, for more modern times um, rather than using this uh, round charging cable. Uh, the latest one, or the latest one I've seen, well, uses a USB 3 connector. Right, so that's the Power Traveler. Moving on now, this is the one that a lot of the stuff is actually missing. Um, I'm not going to be replacing this one for any time soon. Uh, mainly because it's expensive and it gets expensive all more more and more expensive all the damn time. Some of you may have had these, and that is the Power Monkey Explorer. Now inside of here, and this is the case it comes in, you get all sorts of different things. Now, as I say, the unit itself is missing. But if you imagine, um, kind of like an egg-shaped unit. Um, that, uh, that you, you plug your, um, in fact, I'll, I'll put a Google image on of it on here, and it actually does come with a solar power, solar panel to charge the unit itself up. Um, so this, in terms of compatibility, this is a really, 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 really good system. But as you can see, it's quite bulky. Um, as I say, the unit itself and the solar panels have gone missing. Um, but in here, should you find yourself at a nice hotel and it's not got a UK three pin um, socket, oh no, what are you gonna do? Well, push down on the button on the back, remove the three pin socket, and let's say I'm in Australia. Make sure that that tab is lined up. And there you go, oh, right, it's now Australian compatible. Um, you also have standard uh, American 2-pin, standard European 2-pin as well. Inside here, and this is where it's become a little bit obsolete. Um, inside here is All the different connections for all the different at the time um, uh, electronic devices that you need there is also that as well that uh, enables you to charge the unit itself off of a USB uh, USB drive um, which so you could you essentially had no excuse not to charge the unit that in there so you got those um the usb 
Uh, I'm, I'm not even going to lie. I'm not even going to try and bullshit my way through this. I don't know what they're for. They were just included in there. I'm not entirely sure what they are for. But they're in there. Um, there is there is a manual that comes with it. Um, I can't remember what they're for, though. Honestly, I can't remember. Um, you know, some of these are so old as to be completely obsolete. Now, I think that's an old Ericsson, if I remember rightly. There's uh, old iPods on there. Um, I don't even I Like I said, I don't even know what half of these are. Um, and obviously, the, uh, the, the manufacturers have kind of cut down on what's needed now. Um, uh, anyway, um, you kind of only have, you either have USB or the Apple connector. Um, so pretty much everything in this bag is now more or less obsolete. Um, so I don't know why I keep it around, but if I had the unit... I would actually show you the unit and not what's left. As I say, the unit itself could be charged uh, from a USB uh, USB port, uh, could be charged from the mains, could be charged from a computer, or could be charged from the, the solar panel that you could get with it. Um, speaking of solar panels and moving on, uh, quite nicely if you're on an extended expedition away from um, potential sources of power and you need to charge your devices um, you all are, a lot of people will either think of the uh, the bio uh, the biolite uh, wood fired stove that also powers uh, has a USB connector and powers uh, powers phones and things like that and I really want to get hold of one of them but they are stupidly expensive useful but stupidly expensive um, the other option is solar panels and I have got a couple of solar panel a couple of solar power drives there battery packs um, this one's slightly older uh, this one's brand new um, I'm not going to go into the, all the gadgety features such as the, the torch and things like that. Um, as you can see it there. Because uh, that's not primarily what I'm going to be talking about with these. Uh, they've both got torches. Um, but the main thing I'm going to be talking about with these is their practical use. Um, and their, uh, I don't want to say ergonomics but kind of the, the how easy it is to use them over a given period of time. Now, as I say, these are designed for more um, extended expeditions and ideally in a sunny climate. Now, unfortunately, neither of these um, use or have the, uh, the type of solar panels where, uh, that I call ambient light solar panels so normally if you get a really really good high-end um solar panel particularly in this size i'm not talking about mains electricity so i'm not talking about the ones that you put on your roof they generally work whatever the weather um but when you get down to this sort of size you kind of have two options it's either they run off direct solar or direct light um direct uv light uh sunlight or they can run off ambient light. Now, as I say, the ones that power houses and things like that, they are big enough for ambient light, and they will work regardless of whatever the weather, providing it's daylight. These ones are more direct uh, sunlight, so they require more direct sunlight than the bigger, more expensive solar panels. Upside to that, they are cheaper. Downside to that, they will only run off of direct sunlight. So even if you have cloud cover, their use is limited, shall we say. Um, the more expensive you buy, obviously, uh, the more likely it is that 
the solar panels that you're using uh, will generate light. Okay, excuse me a second. <coughs> the, both of these are obviously about the same size. Both of them have uh, the ability to charge up from a USB socket. You kind of should be able to see the socket in the middle there. You can actually take standard, you can take a USB cable, plug it in, and then charge it off of a USB socket. I'm gonna use my PC. And as you can see, um, it's charging up. Uh, now that is a little bit worrying, the fact that it has lost approximately one quarter of its charge. I haven't actually used this. I've, I've charged it up and that's it. Um, it might be because it's lost a tiny bit of power and therefore just um, trickle charging up to the top. It could be that it's lost a quarter of its uh, quarter of its power. Now this particular one that I'm holding here, I honestly can't remember where I bought it from. Um, but if we have a look at the back, uh, you won't you won't be able to see it, but here there is some writing, um, and it tells me that it is a ten thousand milliamp capacity battery pack. Now. How do I put this in the most basic terms? Um, if you have something, and I'm probably going to get this wrong, so if I do, please correct me in the comments. If you have something that draws one milliamp of power, you can power that device for 10,000 hours. What that means in terms of phones, I honestly don't know. Um, but the bigger the bigger capacity, the better in this case. Um, so yeah, so 10,000 milliamp on that one. This one, I got this the other day from a Tesco's garage, uh, one of their special offers. And this one uh, has a 4,000 milliamp. Uh, capacity so not as much so basically you'll get two and a half times let's let's say for example again charging up this phone uh, my old phone let's say that for example um, the the two chargers this one the Tesco one can charge this from dead to full all the way full uh twice uh with one one charge this one in theory should be able to do it four times in theory that's if i understand it right like you say if i'm wrong please correct me in the comments okay so like i say this has got double the charge of this um well, this one's got uh, twice charged twice the effective capacity of this one. As I say, this one has got the option of charging something with one amp and one with two amps. Um, again, if I understand it correctly, if you plug your phone into the two amp, it will charge it quicker, but you won't get as many charges out of the unit itself, if I understand that correctly. So that is that one, it is water resistant. Um, I have tested it, is it, it actually is water resistant. Um, so that's a 10,000 milliamp one. Moving on to the one that I got the other day, which is the Tesco one. Um, again, this one, the one, th the thing I like about this is the actual uh, you, the areas that you put plug your USB cable into is actually tucked away behind a nice water resistant flap just there. Again, with this one, you can charge it up from the computer. Obviously, it was also uh, solar solar panelled um, or solar panel, and that's the idea of them. 
Um, as you can see, same thing there. Um, it's shown that it's lost one fifth of its capacity, uh, unless, like I say, um, it's it's a very minor, very minor thing. Um, it's only four thousand milliamps, as I say, so it won't charge as much. Um, but on the plus side, it won't take as long to charge up. Um, it's all a, always a case of swings and roundabouts. Um, again, with this one, there, like I say, there are two USBs, one on either side. Now it doesn't give different amperage on this one, so I'm going to assume that the amperage is the same on both of them. Um, probably means that you can charge two phones at the same time and I'm going to go out on a limb and say you can only charge them once from a full charge with this battery pack. So that's, um, that's the Tesco one and that is, honestly I can't remember where I got that one from. Um, it'll come. It, it'll be one of those things. It'll be the middle of the night, and then I'll suddenly remember where I got it from. Okay. So in terms of long-term prospects and long-term expeditions, which one would you go for? Um, I would personally recommend this one, just because of the added capacity. That does mean under solar power, however, um, it does take longer to charge up. The cons of this one are it takes longer to charge up. It also has nothing to hang from the outside of a rucksack. So you'd have to be you'd have to get creative of finding a way of actually charging it up whilst you're walking. Or whilst you, you're camping, obviously you just sit there, you sit it on top of your tent and it'll charge up. Or a rock or something like that. Personally I would charge this up as I was walking along. That's just me. The other things I like about this one is that both cables are at one end. So one and two. So it's kind of a little bit tidier in that sense. Uh, you can keep them, you can keep your cables a little bit tidier. I do like that. There aren't many cons to this one other than it takes longer to charge up. Um, that's really about it with that one. Pros with this one, though, this one is lighter. Um, it's lighter uh, because it's a 4000 milliamp as opposed to 10,000, it will charge quicker. But on the downside, you won't be able to get as many uh, charges from it. Um, you got a nice handle there that you can hang it, hang you from your rucksack uh, or from wherever, and it'll be nicely charging. Um, cons with this one, I've already mentioned, it's not got as much charge, or it doesn't hold as much charge. Um, the other thing I don't like about it is the fact that your USBs, USB cables, kind of stuck out on one side, stuck out each side, so it makes it a little bit, a little bit bulkier. That's really about it. Um, so, and the other thing as well is just the, although they are great for adding a little bit of water resistance to the to the unit. Getting these tabs just tucked away is a little bit of a pain in the backside. I don't even think that's done now. Come on. There we go. Right, that's now tucked away. So that's the that's the, the Tesco one. Um, so there's a few few more cons about it, but is it outweighed by the pros? Well I'll make you I'll let you make that decision. So in terms of in terms of portable power for your devices there are other options on the market there are plenty of options on the market I haven't even touched on some of the options um, available 
like I say, like I say they, they do range from quite cheap to quite expensive. Um, these are just three that I happen to have uh, on, on, on hand. Um, as always, do your research. Um, have a play with some of the, the gadgets if you can. Uh, yeah, so that's just me uh, talking about some of the, the some of the gadgets, some of the portable power devices on the market. Um, I hope you found this interesting. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you next time. Bye for now.